Hey, 92 family, this is Pastor Bill here with our Wednesday message. I'm going to focus a little bit, it's been a little while, uh, focus on the grow root, being in the Word of God at home. And actually, you know, it's Tuesday night. You're watching, it's Wednesday. This is uploaded Wednesday. But I'm recording this message Tuesday night, and I'm over at church in the sanctuary, and it's really quiet. You can probably tell with all the echo, but if I just turn this around... It's just dark, out out of the sanctuary. It's peaceful. It's really peaceful. Now, don't worry. Lori didn't say, all right, you're sleeping over at church tonight. I didn't do anything bad. It's not why I'm here. Uh, as a pastor, though, I just a little secret here. Uh, we are privileged that when, you know, you get a call to be a pastor somewhere, they give you the keys to the church, and you can come in, and it's such a peaceful place to be in the sanctuary. By, by the way, if you ever want to just come and sit and meditate in the sanctuary. I know a guy. I can hook you up. But it's an escape. And there's no better place, right, to be in, the, in your father's house and to think on the things that God has for you, especially in a crazy world like <laughs> the world we live in in 2020. Oh, how crazy of a year could this be? So that's my question to you. Where do you go for an escape? Where do you go? You who um, maybe don't have a church key. Where do you go for an escape? Where do you go to get some peace, to be recharged? Uh, maybe you, you're scrolling online. This is kind of your break, and you're trying to figure out a little bit of what's going on in the world, and you're just breaking uh, from this or that. Uh, but by the way, have you noticed being online these days is just not a very peaceful place? Uh, it, it's kind of, there's a lot of divisiveness. There's a lot of stress. I, right now, I kind of limit myself to being online. I just get stressed. I get stressed. So, uh, maybe you're like me, you binge some uh, shows on Netflix or Hulu. Right now I'm watching some cooking shows on Hulu. I don't know why I like cooking shows. It's it's kind of, they cook these wonderful meals and you can't eat them online, but it's relaxing. Maybe you go out and drive some golf balls. Maybe you go out for a walk in nature. We all have some things that we do to, to escape, hopefully healthy things. But in these days too, we all maybe even struggle with what we uh, put ourselves into. How many of you have a place, though, like a church sanctuary where you can escape into reality? See, that, that's the interesting thing about being in our Father's house. When you escape into the sanctuary, you're, you're coming into the, I mean, this is our Father's house, right? You can think about your Heavenly Father. You're entering into, by faith, His throne room, the one who sees all, who knows all, knows your needs, knows what you need to have relief and strength. Only we could have a sanctuary we could all go to, right? But, you know, at home, and see, this is what, ah, oh, duh, <laughs> for me, I'm a family pastor. I think we ought to, in every home, just have, have it permeated with the Word of God. And, and you know what? That's the thing. In your home, did you know this? The greatest place that you can escape, it can be right in your home. Your home can be a sanctuary. Your home can be this refuge. You don't need the walls of the church to meet with God. I mean, we meet together as a church, and it's a special uh, meeting and a special presence of the Lord God. But at home, you can meet with God, and there's no greater escape. Because it's not fictional. It's not binging on some show where it's all make-believe. It's, it's going into your Father's throne room. And He sees you, He knows your needs, and He calls you for Christ's sake, His dear child. All of this I'm thinking of comes from uh, Matthew's Gospel. I'm just going to read to you a little word for your meditation today, kind of your personal devotion if you haven't done one yet. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Jesus says this, When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. And then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. What's that reward? Well, peace and joy and patience. Your God is with you. He sees what you're going through. He knows all your stresses, all your worries. And in that moment, as you pray to him and reflect upon his word of promise, it's peace. And that's what the world needs right now, right? People to be strong in him to be people of peace, to speak about all these issues and things with love, forgiveness, and compassion, especially for those who have lost it. 
and who are violent and angry and divisive, to have compassion on them. So I'm hoping that as you look for an escape, and we all do, the greatest place that you, you decide to go to is maybe in your own room, close the door, and just pray to your Father in heaven. Let's do that right now. Heavenly Father, you who see us, you're with us, and that, that we could be invited into your throne room. Lord, uh, you are so good to us. And all of this, not because we've earned or deserved it, but because of Christ, who is our perfection, our righteousness, our heritage as children of God, the forgiveness that reconciles us to you, the resurrection that gives us new life. Lord, we thank you. So be with us today. And whenever we need, Lord, remind us that we can come to you, close the door, and you make all things good. Lord, let that message of the gospel in Jesus fill our lives, give us peace, and give us strength to weather the storms of this life and to be of much good for the sake of others who escape into all the wrong places. Be with us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day, everyone, and may your home be the sanctuary that we all long for. God bless.